Welcome back to the channel, I'm Stuart Lee, and today I'm gonna to show you real quick the update that came through last week on how Google integrated Google Meet video conferencing into Google Classroom to make it super simple so if your kids don't use email, because kids today, they don't really use email to be honest with you, or they're young, you know, you got second graders, third graders with Chromebooks, but they really don't understand email yet. Uh, this is built into Google Classroom, so I know you've already got them trained on going to Google Classroom, looking for assignments. Now you can go to Google Classroom and join live meet sessions from there. Let's check out how to do it. So as I promised, super fast video. We are in my Google Classroom. This is my training classroom, so we've only got two classes, but we can show you. So if I go into a class, we have our class code up here at the top, just like normal, all right? What we need to do is we need to click on our gear and we need to scroll down to where it says Meet and we're gonna generate a Meet link. And now that that link is there, it's visible to students. We can actually turn that off if we want to, uh, but we're going to leave it visible to students and that's it. I can click the save and now the meet link is right here in my Google Classroom. So I've got the class code and I've got the link right here. So as a student, if I come to the classroom and I need to go to this link, I can click the link and it takes me there. Now I'm the teacher. So real important with this update, if the teacher isn't in the classroom, the students cannot join the classroom. So once you're done with the live session with your students, if they all leave or you kick them out, but if there's nobody else in the session other than you as the teacher and then the teacher leaves, the session disappears and nobody can come back to it. Nobody can hang out in it. It's not an open free for all for your students to come back to later. It is much more secure and 100% in the teacher's control now. Just like everything else, uh, I've got some add-ons for Google Meet. I'm gonna show you guys those uh, in some upcoming videos. But if you need help using Google Meet, uh, link in the card that just popped up and down in the description on my how to use Google Meet with students uh, video, uh, very informative on how to use the actual Google Meets. And don't forget, you can get the extension Google Meet Grid View if your administrator allows it and you can see all the faces at once in the session. So I hope this helped you out. I promised you a short video. I think I delivered on that. Uh, if you like my content, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I put out a video. I try to make things that are useful and to the point for teachers. Um, I get a lot of good feedback. If you have feedback for me, please leave me a comment. I actually do read them all and I take them to heart. So if you have a suggestion or a request, leave it in the comments below and I will get on it as soon as I can. I hope everybody's doing well out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.